So long, Bowser. Thank you so much for playing my game. What up, chat? How we doing? The RLCS is back. The RLCS is back. Yeah, Mina's early. Mina is early, early. You know what's funny? It's like, if, if you're an East Coast American, which I think most Americans are, it really isn't even that early. 10 a.m., come on. Now for me, or actually not even 10 a.m., right? 11 a.m. For me, it's eight. So up here, got work today, slinging 420 deals, but big mean of support. <laughs> Thank you. 738 ain't that early. Ain't that earlier. I've been up. Flexing, dude. Flexing. What up, chat? What up, chat? Are you guys ready? For some Dr. Known, Nush, and Ops today. The biggest wave. You guys might remember we were the first on the wave of KRN. And now, we're the first on the wave of Dr. Known, Nush, and Ops.
Drops? Unfortunately, I do not have drops. I don't think they have drops turned on for qualifier stuff. Uh, like, even for NA. Team Espada? Is that who they're playing against? Team Espada? Are they all Saudi Arabian? If so, put the flag up there. Let's see. It starts in 20 minutes, chat. It starts in 20 minutes. Here is our bracket. Here's our bracket. They are playing... No, they're playing against Mood Swing. What? What? What are you guys talking about? Oh, that's Dark Steam. Oh, 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 oh. Where is Team? Where is Dark Steam? Are they in the lowers? Oh, no, right there. Jogo Benito. So they're they're winning as well. If you're bullying YouTube chat by ignoring them, of course not. Aren't these YouTube streams supposed to be member only? Any stream that isn't going to become a YouTube video is public. So yeah, I'm not trying to hide all the YouTube streams. I'm just trying to not have the show matches like clobber themselves with the YouTube streams. So it looks like Dark's teams is still in it. Team Rock is still in it without any losses. Um, rule one, naturally, have not choked it away. Twisted Minds, Falcons, all still good. Now, I think Rock struggled in the past on this day. So that's what's going to be interesting. Can Rock make themselves... A, uh, another team that consistently makes it into the top 16. Add YouTube chat. I think there is a way to get YouTube chat. There they are. But it's hard to... They're not attached to us. So it's hard to keep track of them. Ops is him. Ops is indeed him. But so is Dr. Nona Nush. First time to ever catch a live stream. What up, William Lundquist? It's crazy how YouTube will just have like people's full given names. Watch party Twisted Minds. Uh, are Twisted Minds streaming? By the way, does someone is someone streaming Dark Games? Um, it doesn't say right here. Does anybody know chat? I know a lot of people are gonna be interested in watching Dark RLCS run, and they they should be. That's why I love fear. Always delivers on the good content. Yo, talking about always delivering on the good content. Let me um, later, let me pull this up before we before we show you. Uh, actually, I want to double check that mood Yo, swing. Chat, are... do this. <laughs> do what? <laughs> do what, Mystic? Normally, <laughs> normally you give them something to do, or you you do it all capital this, which is an emote often. But you didn't do that. Um, okay, I don't think Mood Swing's on there yet. I'm gonna go ahead and say I don't know for sure that they're Saudi Arabian, so I'll just take away their flag. You're streaming Dark's POV? What are you doing here then? You gotta go stream Dark POV. Hm, I got allergies. Anybody else have allergies? I need to go take some allergy pills or something. I don't know about you guys, but I take like one every three days, you know? Don't want to overdo it. When do they play? They should play in about 16 minutes. All right, that's what, that's what I was going to say. Chat, have you guys seen the RL Pro Awards? Have you seen the stuff about the RL Pro Awards? We are going to host them this time around. We are going to host them. And the, you know what? With, I think maybe all of the different uh, potential nominees are out now so we can scroll through them real quick we can scroll through them real quick if you guys don't remember this is the crew of people who needed to nominate players you will see that I am on there so 
you could think that I am in a way partially responsible for who was nominated. But I tell you what, I refuse to take any responsibility. Because there are some seriously egregious failures in the nomination. Two specifically that I'm going to point out. And you guys will agree, chat. I know you guys will agree. I know you guys will agree. All right, some of them I haven't looked at yet. All right, the Striker Award, chat. Daniel Killiers lost and Nupo. This one's fine. This one's fine. When I think about Daniel, I do not necessarily uh, think about striking, although I do think he led his team in goals. Um, so it's not the end of the world. I will start a prediction for the um, the RCS game when it starts. That's Rawas? Yes, I also thought that too. I was like, pretty sure this is Rawas, but it's easier for me to tell when they're next to each other. Um, but I think that the, the winner should probably be Killiers or Lost. Uh, I don't actually, I don't think Nupo should win this one. So the, the people who I think should potentially win are on the list. So I'm good. This one I'm okay with. Bro, how, how can you tell? You know, I used to look at, like, their hair, I think. Um, and, like, the head shape. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's easier when they're right next to each other. But they aren't here. But we got, we got some more to look at. The Playmaker Award. The Playmaker Award. I think the guy that I nominated on here is on here. Um, and I think this was a tough one for me to pick. So... I think I've actually might nominated two people, and I think they're both on here. I personally nominated Yan and Beast Mode. I don't think I nominated Raise Bowl or Exotic. I think if you go and look at the uh, the assists or something, Exotic is like number one for the major, which is probably why he's on here. I don't know. I don't normally think of him as like a playmaker, though. You know what I mean? Maybe you guys do. Maybe I'm the one who doesn't know ball, but I do think of Yan as a playmaker. He's a guy who just makes something happen. He makes plays happen. And uh, Beast Mode also does that. Beast Mode is very much like a playmaker. So I liked this. I liked this uh, for these two. Raise Bowl also was leading in it like an assist and so was Exotic. I didn't watch as much complexity. There was a good chance that Raise Bowl is also a huge playmaker. But we move on to the Goalkeeper Award. I, I think I only nominated one person, maybe two. This one's so obvious to me. That we barely even need to have, uh, like, anyone else. This one better be Rawas. If Rawas doesn't win this one, I don't know what to tell you. Now, I'm thinking here. I, I want to make sure I don't. Okay, this is, yeah, this is the one. Chat, Speed Demon Award. Chat, go ahead and write in the chat right now. Who you would nominate for a Speed Demon Award? Speed Demon. Who are you thinking of? Okay, we got, let's see, we got Nupo, 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 Nupo is not nominated. This, this is one of the, uh, <laughs> the inexcusables, if you ask me. I, I just, I have beef with every single one of the panel because of this. Like, if you had called it the Nupo Award instead of the Speed Demon Award, I would have been like, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we might as well just give it to him now. Maybe I'm being biased. I don't know. Maybe I am. But, uh, yeah, I, I, that's, that's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. Nupo just has to be on the Speed Demon Award. I don't know how I had the perfect sizing before, but I messed it up somehow. So this is my beef. This is my beef. This is why I don't take any credit for any of the uh, nominations. Because I think I literally only... I, I, I thought I could nominate more people, but what's the point? Because this is just Nupo's award. So I, I just nominated him. Which, to be fair, would have made all of the other nominees made, look potentially poor. Because, like, if everyone did what I did, then it would only take, like, a single vote to get nominated. 
but yeah, then Noop wouldn't even show up. If I could have given him all three of my nominations, I would have. Um, yeah, I, I really don't think I'm that biased. Like, he has, like, he has to be on the list. I know for sure that he has to be on the list, and I think he should clearly win. But what do you do? What do you do? Um, oh, I, oh, I, and now I see how I did. I messed it up. I, I clicked on it. That's how. Okay. Next. They're going to start pulling us into the lobby, so we might have to go quick. Demo expert. That's a, that's a good set of nominations. First killer, Reddles Calm, Atto. Atto's pretty aggressive. Got a lot of demos. Consistency award. This one's really tough. I think I just went with players who have been consistent over a long time. Uh, I would not give this one to Nupo. I want to be like fair <laughs> to people and show that I'm not just mean a bias. I'm not sure why Nupo's on here. Um, maybe because they're saying he consistently played well for his team in the in the games he played. But I think I'll probably get this one to Fatira. To me, consistency award. I think I put Monkey Moon on there too. I'm actually surprised Monkey Moon isn't here. My my nominations were Monkey Moon, Vatira, basically like the goats. The goats who have been around and played consistently. Zen, I don't hate. Zen, I don't hate either. Um, I, I don't necessarily, I wouldn't give this to Atomic or Nupo. I'd probably just give it to Vatira or the people who are here. But I, I think I also think Monkey Moon is a good shout. Um, so, underrated player. I don't hate these nominations. We got... Cheese, Drafino. I think Drafino is actually not underrated in the sense that everyone thought Furia was insane when they added Drafino. Um, so I wouldn't say him. Juicy, I think, is good. I think Juicy was one of my nominations. This is Test Lobby, by the way. Dr. Known and Nush are playing ones. Okay, we might just watch this. I have a feeling you guys want to watch Dr. Known and Nush play ones. Um, but we can go back and look at that stuff later. We, we can look at the rest of them. But, yeah, what was I going to say? Uh, I think Juicy should probably win. I think, like, unlike Drafino, who when he joined his Yan team, or his, his Yan team, his Furia team, everyone was like, okay, that team upgraded, that team's, like, going to be sick. Uh, and then I would say, from Gentleman's perspective, people were like, yeah, we like Itachi and Seiko, but I don't really know about Juicy, you know. He was kind of, I think, rated lower. And ended up surprising people. And then Creams is probably like the real answer, let's be honest. If a player really is underrated, probably to someone we're not even thinking of. And I think Cheese is really good too. Cheese is actually a really good shout because when Cheese joined his team, I think everyone was also like, ah, well, they, they didn't add a hard carry, you know, like they're, they're going to be in trouble. They replaced AJ with Cheese. I don't think that's a great addition. You know, I, th I think that pe people thought that, whether they were right about it or not. And Cheese was actually a huge addition and, like, became, you know, one of the biggest parts of that team, if not the biggest part. So I think Cheese is a good call. I think Juicy is a good call. I think Kareem's is, is probably just, like, the right answer, but I don't think he'll win it. Uh, I, I just don't think uh, Jafinho is necessarily... And, and it's not necessarily a bad thing, right? <laughs> I'm not saying that... Uh, you know, you should feel bad because you're not underrated. I think you're good and people know it. Nice save by Dr. Known. Wait a second. Is Dr. Known ready to get back into ones? Is Dr. Known ready to get back into ones, chat? Is he handling Nush right now? Oh, Dr. Known has left the game. Even after getting his goal. So what's happening here? This is going to be Mina RLCS. These guys have created their lobby. And I think they're just waiting for the other team to show up. And so we're just watching them 1v1 right now. Does Team Rock have a coach? Of course they do. You don't remember the interview? We had an interview with uh, their coach after they made it through the Swiss 3-1, I think. We had Idris on. Great coach. I was convinced, man. I was like, man, this is one of the best coaches in the league after our conversation. Uh, I won't be doing M80 today. Oh, we still have music on. That's kind of what made it feel like multiple things were going on at once. 
Yeah, can you guys believe they have a 14-year-old coach as well? Insane. Is the interview on YouTube? Uh, it might be. It might, we might have streamed it. Do coaches actually do something? Oh, for sure. For sure. I mean, I think coaches have the least... Actually, I think co a coach of this team is probably the, a coach that has the most impact of any team. I think a team of full of, like, 19 to 22-year-olds, the coach is helping, but probably not as much as the coach is helping for this team. <laughs> a team of three 14-year-olds, I would think the, the coach is actually huge. Being a mental rock for them, um, keeping them locked in, keeping them focused on the right things. I, I think the coach is huge for this team. Is someone streaming the Falcons? I don't know. What about M80? M80, we, we just do M80 on the final day. This is this is right now the Mino final day, and then M80's final day is tomorrow. We are watching these guys uh, warm up basically with 1v1s against each other. And last time we watched it, Nush scored like seven in a row, but the other two are looking really good. Ops played in the qualifiers for Madness, and he was really close. Or I'm not sure how close he was, actually. He might have been... I'm pretty sure he was in the qualifying game, right? No, no, he was super close. Yeah, yeah, it went to overtime. <laughs> so it was crazy close, but he ultimately lost. And, uh... But he looks good. He looks good in 1v1. Dr. Known has always been good in the past. Ops actually looked better than him in the Madness qualifier. Mina is more exciting this split than the previous one. Yeah, Mina's just getting more and more exciting. If Falcons are playing right now, you should watch them. They should be playing in about three minutes. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Are they... Do they have a stream today? Like, they, their match should be starting right when our match should be starting as well. So it shouldn't be live yet. In theory. Um, let us see here. I don't think I see anybody else live with Mina RLCS. Because I think they would have more viewers than 30. And I have looked at every live streamer down to at least 30 viewers. And I think we might be the only one live with Mina today. Oh, Squishy is rule one. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot the insane pickup. That rule one got. Oh wait, I don't see Squishy. Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. There he is. Official rule one RLCS watch party. Look at that. Amazing. So happy for rule one. They get the literal North American goat. Maybe rule one will play next round. Uh, they should not be playing Rule 1 at all. Because Team Rock should just be winning. Maybe if Rule 1 and Rock lose, there's a chance. Everybody should be playing in, in one minute. Everyone should be playing in one minute. Um, that includes Dark Steam. That includes Rule 1. That includes Falcons. Do you think TRK is still in the top 10? And if what number? Some about the top 10 worldwide? Probably. I mean, his team is part of the top three teams, so he could still be top 10. Probably not. No, he probably, I don't know. The, the Falcons team is fairly balanced. I do have TRK, I think, behind the Twins, but, but it's fairly balanced. Oh, shoot. We're at, we effed hard there. Oh, we're still effing. Should be back. That stream was, was definitely lagging, but it should be back now. Chat, I just got a notice on my door that uh, there's fiber coming to my area. It should just be fixed now. It should just be fixed. We should be back. Refresh. Question mark?
fiber sounds good. I know, wouldn't it be sick? The thing is, it's it, chat. Have you guys heard of Quantum? Is that a good? Is that a good provider? I've never heard of uh, Quantum before. But they said, did this just lose? No, this one. I was. I was wondering why he's saying sorry. Everyone's looking forward to see how Venom will perform. Yeah, Venom back with Nupo. Could be sick. Has no one in 3ZO? The names are wrong. Oh, Alright, they're leaving the match. Were they, were they literally just playing a warm-up 1v1? Was that actually not the test lobby all along? Was I bamboozled into thinking we had a test lobby? I have Quantum, it's awesome. $70 a month for a thousand up down. Okay. And it's consistent. The thing about the thing about uh the thing about fiber is obviously it's insane in terms of its speed. But what matters most to streamers is like I have enough speed with Cox that it's high enough. Like it, it, I never hit the cap. I never need more top speed. What I need is to just to never drop out. Um, and so if you were to tell me like, oh, quantum's a thousand, but it drops out every once in a while, I'd be like, okay, I don't want to, I don't want to switch to it then. But I think fiber is maybe also just more consistent and, and not to say that you saying you don't have any problems is not an issue. Do you stream? Because I think a lot of people who don't stream won't even notice hiccups. Like the, the F today was probably five seconds, maybe, maybe, maybe 10 seconds. And like when your stream kind of when your internet kind of goes out a little bit for 10 seconds, it's like that does not even register for anybody else. Wait, chat, you guys have heard of Cox. Don't give me a huh every time I say Cox. <laughs> All right. Shall we continue looking at uh, awards, award nominations while we wait for these guys to get into a lobby? I think we'll be able to hear it when they join a lobby. Let me just double check I'm still in their party. Yeah, they're not in the game. They should be setting it up here, I would imagine. So underrated team, chat. Underrated team. We've had underrated player. Underrated team. Who do you guys have for underrated team? I want to say that I put Gentlemates because of the major teams. They were they turned out to be the most underrated. You know, power is pretty good too. The power, people have power not winning, like, you know, that rule one match basically. Luminosity, I think they're pretty close, pretty, pretty on point rated. <laughs> like, are we giving them unrated because they went to game five with Vitality and that's it? Or what? Like, I, I think mates or power are pretty good. And then Space Station, no, they're not underrated. Everyone's talking about how they should have made it. Maybe underperformed, which I don't think <laughs> is what you meant to put, right? Or, or maybe, you know, everyone is so, the, the chatter is so much about Space Station being a good team that should have been there. That's hard to say, like, they're underrated. Uh, I think Gentlemates or Power, probably good. I can't remember. I know I put Gentlemates for sure. I don't know if I put anyone else. Maybe I also put Power. Cloud9 is underrated. Um, are they? Maybe pirates on a boat could be slightly underrated. I don't think they're under. I don't think they're as underrated as gentlemates. But to be fair, gentlemates earned their underration. You know, like they didn't. They played like the fourth best team out of EU, and then all of a sudden they switched and became the best team. Which how this was to be able to predict that? Uh, looks like Team Rock is going to be on the orange. Chad, we go. It's Mood Swing and Team Rock in the RLCS qualifiers. We have started for real. If you guys don't know what we're watching, we are watching the world's youngest team. And I should have put that in the title for a nice clickbait. But it is Nush, Dr. Known, and Ops, a team of 14-year-olds who would not have been able to play the RLCS if it weren't for the recent rule change, saying that you can play as long as you're 13 years old. Which is to say that not just one of these players, but all three of them would be unable to play in the RLCS if it weren't for the rule change. And now they've made a team and they're making top 16. So that was a nice in and out save from Mr. Dr. Known. Have I tried Starlink? I have not. 
Anyone streaming Dark? I am under the impression that someone is at least at some point going to be streaming the matches for Dark. Because uh, they did talk to those guys and they said they had somebody streaming them. You wouldn't say power is that underrated? Yeah, it's tough. Who was who is everyone really wrong about in terms of underrated teams? Oh Nush. Oh Nush, get one more! Oh! That would have been insane. That would have been insane. This is the reason why we watch this team. This team is one of the most fun teams to watch, period. Hopefully they're also gonna be winning. But I think even when they, you know, weren't winning games. They're just such an exciting team. I don't know. I was never I was never told. I just know someone is streaming. There, especially around this time, you can just go to uh, the Rocket League category, sort by viewers, and you should not have to go very far for someone who has, especially Dark's RLCS game. It would show up. So if you make it, you know, Dark, when he streams, he gets like 300 to 700 viewers. So you shouldn't have to go much farther than that to find Dark's RLCS team. Because if they're live with him playing, they will be somewhere around there. And so if you don't see him there, I, I would assume they're just not live with their games. Dr. Known is the next for Ross. You can quote me on that next season. Dr. Known is a very solid defender and from the Middle East, which is why I'm assuming you're making that correlation. It would be really exciting to see this team threaten the greats of Mina. And we've had a bit of off, you know, season as we prepare for this next split. So maybe they have made that rise. But I think in the Saudi E-Leagues, they haven't broken into that echelon just yet. Rule 1 is on Squishy Stream. Falcons, I'm guessing, aren't live based on what I saw. Dr. Known? You know, everybody tries to make Drally and Drafino, you know, Dr. Alley and Dr. Ufino. Dr. Known is actually just a doctor. No special changing needed. He is Dr. Known. Rocket League is so odd now. It's like they barely try and just go for looks. Ranked is more serious than tournaments. I don't think I necessarily agree, first time chatter. I think ranked is maybe less skilled, <laughs> so you may see less skilled goals working out in ranked. No goals either way. Team Rock, like I said, you know, we we have enjoyed watching them and, and feel like it's a foregone conclusion. Nice full team play to get the goal. But they have struggled in this part of the tournament in the past. Look at the lob setup, ops. Look, did he get the reset? I'm not sure. But either way, Nush running lead block and Team Rock on the board. What do you think of the new Cloud9 roster? I mean, it's just pirates on a boat, right? It's, they didn't even change anybody, as far as I'm aware. Um, but it is new in the sense that Cloud9 is now, you know, sponsoring them. I think, uh, I think that of the 12 teams that in NA with orgs at the top, like the top 12 all have orgs, multiple. My take is that at least two will not make main event. Oh, Cloud9 is Omelette. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Moist is Pirates on a Boat. Yeah, sorry. The, the two new teams are Moist and Cloud9, Omelette, and Pirates on a Boat. Come on. Give me give me some credit. But 
Yeah, I think that at least two of the 12, top 12, will, will probably not make top 16. I feel like at least one's like a guarantee. Like two won't make main event. Let's talk about, talk about this first main event. This first main event in which 12, all 12 of the top 12 have orgs. No way all 12 make the main event, right? It's just too hard in this new format. Like somebody slips up. I mean, it'd be sick if they, now that seat, like the best chance now is that seating is maybe a bit better and they'll all be seated as top 12 and that will help a lot. But I, I don't know. I could still see it. Thought you meant miss all three? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't think any of them miss all three. But the thing is, if you're signing a team, you're you're hoping that they're going to make major. Probably, at least. And any team who's missing even one event, I think is there's no way. So... What a name. Fear Goat? That, that's how I read it the first time. His name is Faragoat, but I read it as Fear Goat. Ooh, look at the chain dashes. Wait a second, Fear Goat! Am I, am I insane? Am I insane in the game? Chat, this is the RLCS. Aegon, the Conqueror in the game. Team Rock been on defense all of game number two. What, is there an RLCS referee? There is not. The, uh, the referees show up for top 16 nowadays. I think there used to be referees. Ooh, wow, that was gonna be an absurd save if Yaster found a way to not let that through. But Ops on the board. Oh wait, did they do a kick and play? I, I wasn't watching, a kickoff play. I was reading chat. They are known for their nice kickoff plays. Oh, they went double on the kickoff? Is that what they're... I, that was fortunate, right? No way you could try and win. Did they do that intentionally? Fully intentionally? A win? They double committed on the kickoff. The ball went sailing into the sidewall, back out, and then Dr. Node finished it. And he cheated up for that, too. It seems like a super aggressive kickoff strategy if it was one they were trying to get. And also, it's just such a low likelihood of working out, I would imagine. And the next kickoff didn't go so well for them. They've been pinned back ever since that kickoff. They got Fear Goat playing against them, so... You always gotta look out. Ooh, Nush. King of Cringe. Johnny made a video on KC doing that kickoff. Wait, that one specifically? Not not double committing on the kickoff. Because that we've seen, and specifically the one where they try and have the, the other player who's double committing score. That one is like pretty common now. But they seem to double commit, and, and the way that the second player jumped, like they weren't even trying to do the normal double. I, I don't know if he was trying to guide it to the side wall. And maybe you're saying that Johnny made a video on that one too, the one we just saw. Where Somehow the ball goes booming off the sidewall and back into the third player. It seems it seems like there was a bit fortunate, but hey, I have to go back and watch it closer to know for sure. And, and I'll actually mark it so we can go back and see. That exact kickoff, interesting. So they just stole it. That seems super all in. 
a kickoff where you commit two and it's trying to set up the third to cheat in and win. Yeah, it's just like like that just seems a really all in version of the kickoff. The other version where you just use two people and your third can like save you if things go wrong. Casey did it when down a goal. Oh, that would make sense. That would make sense. That would be when you'd use it <laughs> if, you, if it was like the end of a game and you needed a goal and it didn't matter if you got scored on. Ooh, wow, what a save. What a save. Is Team Rock a top eight team? You haven't really been keeping up? I mean, according to the most recent qualifier that was played, yes. But according to any of the other two qualifiers, no. Um, but I think they're on the rise. I think their Saudi E-League performance was also top eight. So it would seem that way. It would seem like they are becoming a top eight team as Nush dunks and sends this one into the net. Just join right now. You see that Fear Goat is streaming today? Yeah. Is Mood Swing a full KSA team? I didn't see it on Wikipedia, and I don't know for sure if all of the team members are Saudi Arabian, so decided it was safer to not put the KSA flag. If Mood Swing signed you, they'd be down 1-3, which they currently still are, which I'm, I'm actually impressed. If you're saying you can join this lobby and the score would be exactly the same, uh, that means you're really good. Because <laughs> if you could join, ooh, nush. If I join this lobby on the side of Mood Swing, the scoreline would not be 3-1. It'd be like 6-7-8-1. Um, kick off. You gonna watch the Suns game? That's the plan. That's the plan. Fear beat Moxie though, that is true. How old are Dr. Nord and Ops? Unless they've hit a birthday since the last time they were playing, they're all 14. But, believe it or not, humans do age and it has been time since they last played. So they could, in theory, have leveled up in the game of life. But it sounds like insane who would know what they're talking about. It says they're all still 14. Is it best of seven? No, it's best of five. How do you stop aging? You stream on Twitch and you stay up to date with all the lingo. And then you yell, Sheesh! And then everyone says, wow, you're so young, Fear. Just like that. You're no longer aging. Just like that. All right, Team Rock almost got kickoff stratted. That makes you sound like at least plus five your actual age. <laughs> uh. I love the confidence of having GOAT in your actual name. Ops, little wall dash to set this up. Down to Nush. Ceiling pinch, drop down. No finish. Too many defenders. Nice protection of the ball here. Dr. Noon just 
says, you can't clear this, buddy. I'm right here. You touch that ball, it's going nowhere. Oh, Nush. Nush tried to do him dirty. Goal line fake. And then roll it in with nobody in the way. Dr. Known one to beat. Going for the double? Not quite powerful enough. You think Rock have what it takes to be a top two team in Mina? Not, not yet. I wouldn't say so, but I do think they're on a, a huge rise. So you never know. You know, with each passing split, they'll play better and better. But... But no, I think that the Falcons clearly have one spot. And then, so are they going to be able to take it from Twisted Minds or Rule 1? Those are good teams. Those are good teams. One of which maybe has the best player in the whole region on it. So it's going to be really hard to be top two in Mina. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't set that as this team's goal. Be pretty ambitious to go from making one of three top 16s to then saying, okay, we're going to be the second best team in the whole region. I think if you make uh, Saturdays, I was going to say Sundays, but if you make a couple Saturdays, then that, that's a humongous win, I think, for Team Rock. Basically, the top fours. You make one or two top fours and every top 16 in this split, and that's, that's a massive win. I think that's like something you feel really good about going into next season not to say that you know you get second in the first event that, that should change your mind <laughs> as soon as you get second you should be like wait a second maybe we can make it but yeah it's really hard to qual in Mina Chad, I was looking at the fastest players by average speed over the course of the whole split not just the not just the major Number one, Dark. In his RLCS games that he played, he was number one on average speed. Can you believe it? Number two, Nupo. And this is every region. And actually, it might not have been every region. I might not have included APAC as I say. Woo! Look at this shot. 145. Oh, 132. You overshot a little bit, Aiken. <laughs> That's a nasty pinch, though. Dude, <laughs> there's nothing you can do about that. At least they can make a name for themselves and join better teams next season. Oh, I mean, how could you say that? How could you not want to believe in the dream that is all of them continuing to play together? I think they play really well together. As they say that. As they say that, they get scored on. Uh, but no, I think they play well together, and I don't think there's like a weak link that means they need to uh, switch it up or anything. They bumped each other on the back wall. Oh, they're just getting diced up by Fear Goat. Bang. Ooh, the triple save. The rare triple save. Literally everyone on the team made the same. Oh, Fear Goat. Fear Goat is so sick. Wow. All right, we have to mark that. <laughs> the triple save was nutty. All right, 30 seconds. In this stage of the tournament, Game differential does not matter, which is nice. If this were the beginning of the Swiss, you would not want to drop a single game. But you actually can get away with dropping a game. Although I'm sure they'd rather not. Gotta clear out the net. Nush. Ooh, dude, your goat should be too good. Still a decent scoring chance right here. Ops. Oh, that's in. Credit to Dr. Known. I think he had to go do some bumping work to make sure this happened. Oh, he just scared him. Scared him off the back wall.
Not gonna lie, the boost indicators make watching so much easier. Yeah, I, I think it's amazing. Like, when I when I watched broadcast previously, I always hated the boost meters. I, I still might add them because I do think they're necessary in some cases, but I always thought, is there are there people who are really looking down, seeing the play happening, going, oh, I wonder how much boost that player has, looking up, finding where their boost meter is on the overlay, then looking back down at the play and making a read off of that? Like, I'm just... Maybe I'm just not built different like the other viewers, but I just can't do that. So, therefore, the boost meters didn't mean much to me. The only thing they ever really told me is if I wanted to go look and think, oh, is the whole team starved out right now? And I just kind of look generally at all of their boosts. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, the whole team's starved. Or after a play. Like, oh, that person made a bad play. Let me go look. Did they have no boost? Oh, yeah, they were zero. But, yeah, it's so much easier to just, when it's right on their name tag. That could be a game winner. And it is. Team Rock. Making it through. Had a bit of a scare there. The back of a, off the back of an amazing pinch. 145 million mile an hour pinch. If you're a plat 3 viewer. Yeah, I guess, dude. I guess. Whatever rank you got to be to like instantly snap your eyes to the overlay boost back to the player to make the read. This was a triple save is why I actually saved this one. Not because of the insane pinch. But let's go look at the triple save. This is like the biggest triple save I've ever seen. And the fact that I think literally all three players could have saved it. Uh, was it here? It's one of these millions of saves. We'll just put it right here. Are there more games? Yeah, they have another one to qualify there it is the triple save <laughs> ain't no way you're making it through ain't no way all of them would have had it all three of them get this ball out of here although to be fair dr no and buddy actually it looks like that is the open spot <laughs> to his credit as he goes up for the shot it's like where's the open spot i mean this is the undefendable spot right here top right but, like, this also looks pretty good. Ops looks like he's even, like, maybe protecting that. But they all are falling right there to that spot. And <laughs> yeah, they all triple save it. Now the net is super open. And, uh, unfortunately, they couldn't make it through. Okay. I did like the kickoffs. I did like the kickoffs. Let's go look at this one. Um, it got the second goal, right? Okay. Yeah, this seemed, uh, this does seem like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to slow it down. My, my boomer brain can't do it this fast. Okay. Ops, Nush is jumping high and trying to help guide it to the side wall, I guess. And then Dr. Known cheating up in order to score off of it. I mean, it worked beautifully. It feels aggressive. It feels aggressive for up a 1-0 type situation. But hey. You know, it definitely seems super useful when you need a goal bad. What do I know? It seems like it's a, a bit all in, but... Maybe I'm even wrong about that. By the way, chat, Idris is uh, the coach for Team Rock. Sounds like K-Corp does it as well. Yeah, I've seen the, uh, we have to run ads by the way in the meantime. I've seen K-Corp do the one where the two players upfield are, are the ones trying to score it. Um, but I think that was Nush. Nush was very clearly not trying to score it. He was just trying to like send it away. Or maybe he was trying to score it and it just didn't work out that way. All right. Did rule one already win? Squishy looks like he's in free play. So it's looking like Rule 1 must have already won their match as well. 
And chat, I don't think anyone else is live with games. The way I'm deciding that is I'm just looking at the uh, the RLCS viewers. And Razzle Thor is probably not doing Mina stuff. We don't see Falcons. I think Falcons would be within this range. This, oh, this is somebody watch partying us. <laughs> I'm like, wait, th th these people are playing right here. But that's my overlay. <laughs> so they're just watching me. Um, These guys, could, oh, it's Esports Canada. Yeah, so I don't think anyone else is live with Mina stuff. If someone was doing darks, I think they'd just, they, we wouldn't have to scroll this far. I could be wrong. Like There could be a secret dark stream, which only one person knows about it, but it usually doesn't happen. Rule 1 didn't play? Oh, did their team, their opponents forfeit? Or something? Okay, chat, I have more beef. I had more beef with these awards, so we're going to continue talking about them. Because they're also going to happen on our stream. Um, all right. Most improved team. Most improved team. G2 Stride. This is so when it was, it, he didn't say it here, but when it was phrased to the people who were nominating, what it said was the most improved team going all the way back to the end of last season. So this isn't the most improved team from the beginning of the split to the end of the split. It's the most improved team from when the RLCS ended last year. So, I mean, G2 is a great pick if you're thinking of it that way. Because version essentially it was version 1. Version 1 didn't make worlds. Maybe it wasn't looking so great. Added Atomic, not of the best team. So, you could say that's a big jump. Luminosity. Dropped AJ got cheese, or, or AJ left, got cheese. Furia, you know, that could be a good one too. Went to Sam, huge improvement. All of them are from adding a player though. Falcons, again, it should really be, you should be comparing rule one to where the Falcons are at now, because that's really what it was. But it's a bunch of team pickups. Uh, so none of them are really about like the, <laughs> The players improving much, but I can't remember who I put for this team. I think I think I put Team Rock chat. <laughs> I think I put Team Rock because I was like, they did they improved the most to me. Of the teams that I watched, I uh, they went from you know not being able to make top uh, 16 to making it consistently and becoming a team that seems like one of the best in the Middle East. So that's who I had. All right, Clutch Player Award. This one's tough. This one's tough. Rise, I think, just get wins this like he, this is like a legacy award for him. Um, but him and Vatira win game sevens a lot. Uh, not to say that Rise like isn't clutch anymore, but I, I don't know if this split he had like any insane reasons to say he was extra clutch, but he'll always be in this conversation. I think I actually nominated Seiko, but I have really hard tough time. Like, what is clutch player chat? How do you define it? I mean, Juicy Juicy clutched out in the final day when it mattered most. So yeah, that that could definitely be. Um, but then you're basically just saying this is this is kind of just finals MVP, <laughs> like major final day MVP, which then just yeah, I don't know. This one's tougher. This one's tougher. I don't I don't mind Juicy. I don't mind Rise either. He has historically been very clutch. Um, I think. Putting two different gentle mates players on makes sense considering they clutched out the major, I would say. So Dark is playing against Bravado. Ooh, interesting. Okay, we continue. On air talents. On air talents. Chat, I'm trying to remember who I nominated. I think at least two of my nominations are here. Actually, I think all three of them. I think all three of them. So I went with, I, I for me, when I wanted to nominate talents, I didn't want to just go with the people who everyone knows are good and have been good forever. Like maybe if this was some kind of uh, like, I don't know, important to their career award that they needed the accolades and like some of the top players, some of the top casters could just get it over and over and over again. Instead, I picked players who I think, or, or talent that I think 
get less recognition, but are also very good and essential. So I actually went with these three. CJ, he gets his recognition. And he might win this. And he would deservingly win it, because he's very good. But people love CJ, and he knows it. Um, Stacks, T-Bates. I think T-Bates gets crap. I think T-Bates is a huge addition to like the content. And I think Herc is a, a great addition. And I think it could be worth, you know, throwing the talent to any one of these three. Or CJ. Honestly, all of them. I, there's very few people who couldn't be deserving of it. And I could find an angle for any of them to deserve winning. Uh, and and these, these are four great nominees. So, T-Bates hot takes def make things interesting. Yeah, T-Bates keeps a whole, you know, everyone voted KC to win and except for T-Bates. And it's like, if... If everybody's on the same page, it is actually boring for the viewer. Uh, so it's good that T-Bates is always, uh, you know, wrong. And best decal award. I actually only nominated one for this and it's not here. But I do like these ones. I'm not a fan of the Gentlemates one just because I don't like the Gentlemates logo so bad. TSM one is sick. The BDS one is pretty good. Um... The G2 one is pretty nice. I like the Dig one like a lot. I, I the Dig one is always my favorite. So I just I nominated the Dig one. It, it didn't work out. Tough break for me. Uh, if I had to guess which one will win, I'm gonna guess Gentlemates because it's the most unique. Like it, I don't think anybody else has a pink, and they won. So I'm guessing that one will win. If I had to vote for one of these, I'd probably vote TSM. I think the TSM one's coolest of these four. All right, chat. This one I have beef with. This one I have beef with. And now, I know you guys are going to be biased. You guys are going to be biased for me. But who should win content creator of the split, basically? Of the split award. And I had, I think I nominated one person. And don't say me. And no, You guys are obviously biased because you're here on my stream right now. <laughs> you guys are biased. So I, I don't even necessarily think I should be nominated. I think there's one person who should be nominated. Who, uh, who specifically this split has has had like an amazing performance. And yeah, a couple of you guys are saying it. You could argue Squishy actually too, because he started up, but he was playing that split. Yeah, I think it's Kev, chat. I nominated one person. I, did, I, I was like, this person should win it. And I can't even think of other people who probably should win this award over them. So uh, I said Alpha Kev. And guess who wasn't nominated? Alpha Kep did not make it through. Instead, it's me. What am I doing here? Jack, Fear, Johnny, and Rizzo. Alpha Kep does clickbait people. I could see, I could see a good portion of people maybe getting rubbed the wrong way by Alpha Kep, but like, I don't know. It uh, it speaks for itself, I think, with what he's been able to do. And also, if you're saying like, oh, well, Alpha Kep, you know, he mostly just does those watch parties. I think that this last split, that was mostly what Johnny did too. Because um, he had just done Salt Mine. So he had just done like a ton of one streams. So I think he ended up mostly watch partying. But I'm thinking of Twitch. And you could argue that YouTube is another thing. Rizzo has done these, uh, he switched his YouTube strategy to be talking head YouTube. And, and I mean, I'm enjoying it. I think it's having success. And then Jack's just been running the same YouTube grind since forever, so. Yeah, I think Reddles could probably be on here. I think Reddles is probably better than, he's been streaming a bunch and has kept YouTube up. I mean, this guy could get taken off. But yeah, there's no question. There's no question that I think Cap has to be one of the four. I could have been I was so sure that Nupa would be a speed demon, like at least a nomination, and I was so sure that Kep would be at least one of the content creators. Uh, in fact, I thought he was just going to run away with it. And so, I was surprised. I was surprised to find that he was none of the nominees. Game Changer Award. Game Changer Award chat. So I think it's got to be one of the teams that won, which uh, the, or the most recent events. What was it called? The Star Chasers. So G2 won the NA. And then Alems' team won the EU. Um, I'm trying to remember what's their what's their team. Courtney is a beast as well, though. 
I think this will probably go to any of them, really. I think all four of them are good nominations. I I wasn't watching Karma. The Karma's like might get like a legacy type award for this. Um, but I think Tally was their carry, it would seem, and then I think Lems was the carry for her team. So, will there be dark replays from else? Yes, there might be. Aura award. Oh, chat! I take it all back. There's a third one. Some of these I haven't seen yet. I only nominated one person for this. And then they're not here. What am I doing? I need to nominate them three times. I had Yan here for the Aura Award. I don't know, guys. Should we go look at Ar Arsenal did an o Aura tier list? And uh, I bet you he had Rise up there. Rise has is, is got Aura. Rettles. I would say Rettles has Aura. Uh, I love my guy, apparently, Jack. Love him to death. Does he have aura in the way that I'm thinking about it? I mean, obviously, some people think yes. <laughs> I, 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 listen, Jack's a great player, great content creator, great dude. Does he have aura? I almost feel like he does not. <laughs> I, 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 hey, love him. You don't, you don't need to have aura to be a good player. I think you can replace Yan with uh or with apparently Jack, yeah. Or Jack with with Yan. Well, how is Yan not have aura, dude? Yan is like his aura is insane. Arsenal has aura. I think that's I think that's fine. Rise has aura. Can agree with that. Rettles has aura. Where is Yan, man? Appjack my favorite player. First time chatter says Appjack my favorite player, and I think you just described why Appjack is on this list. <laughs> I think you just described it. All right. Old Guard Award. JNAPS, Torsos, Monkey Moon, Alpha 54. So the uh, in order to be the Old Guard, you had to have been playing since like 2020 or something. And so a lot of players applied. A lot of players was like, fit this bill. And so guys like Monkey Moon, who obviously aren't like on even downtrending, <laughs> uh, fit the bill. Torsos is probably the, the play here. I think Torsos is probably... Not Torsos? Wait, Torsos has been around since forever. How is he not old guard? Um, it doesn't. It's, it's hard to say. Like, are you looking for best player? Best player who's part of the old guard? Like, then you just pick Monkey Moon, right? I did. I did see the tweet about Monkey Moon last night. Hopefully, he's okay. Um, JNAPS, I think won this last time, so you could give it JNAPS again. Uh, but I think probably Torsos or maybe Alpha. Honestly, these are good. These are good nominations. I like them. I don't hate him. Rising Star Award. Yeah. I mean, if, if Nupo... I mean, I like Wavy as well. Sphinx, Drally, Nupo. These, these are good. I think in order, it'll probably be Nupo, Drally, Sphinx, Wavy in terms of who's more likely to win. Um, But yeah, I mean, Nupo. I mean, he's not a rookie because he played it at split, but... It's pretty tough to not give him that. MVP, chat. Who's your MVP? Now, before you just snap, say Juicy. And before you even just snap, say Itachi. Actually, my MVP nomination, or at least one of them, wasn't even here. I actually nominated, chat, what do you guys think about this? I nominated Atto. Am I crazy for that? Does that make me crazy? Um, so I think that I wanted to resist the idea of just making it a major MVP and especially wanted to resist the idea of making it a Sunday at the major MVP because if Juicy wins it, then we're just saying, oh, actually the final day at the major, like we just make this award the same award as the one that's given away at the actual broadcast which my thought is why would we do that like this is our opportunity to make a different award an award that refers to the whole split and so for me that has to be probably a casey player or maybe a falcons player or maybe still a gentleman's player depending on how much you want to weight the major 
Uh, so I think I said Atto for KC for winning every regional and playing decently well at the major, losing only to the to the champs. And then I had Ruas, I think. I went with Ruas from the Falcons. And then I think I went with Itachi from Gentlemates. So only one of my nominations made it through here. So if I had to pick one, I would probably go Itachi as a way to give him the nod for every other day except for Sunday and uh, the fact that they won the major. But I also think giving it to I giving it to a KC player, I don't mind. I just uh, I, I would rather it be Atto. Batira would maybe be second up though. So, and I, and I don't. I mean, I, I love G2 in Beast Mode, but didn't win the major. Didn't win every regional. Not not to say that he couldn't have still been clearly the best player, but I don't think he was. I don't think Beast Mode was like such a hard carry that uh, that he should still be MVP or anything like that. I think G2 is just a good team. So yeah, I, I wanted to I wanted to give it to Atto. He's not even here. So go watch Squishy. Are they playing right now? That is all of them, chat. You guys can go. Uh, you guys can go votes at Pickstop RL Pro Awards if you guys want to go vote. Please do. I'm assuming this will load. Maybe I'll do my votes later. Um, but then I'll probably bias you guys, so I won't feel great about that. Okay, you're telling me that Rule 1 is playing right now. Wait, no. Wait. <laughs> Squishy's just... You, you want me to watch Squishy's stream, and it's literally just him playing free play. Listen, I love a good Squishy free play stream, but just know that you can just do that whenever you want, okay? You don't have to come here and get me to also watch him play free play. Who is Mood Swing? It was the team they played previously. Who do we have now? Let's go look at that. Has Liquipedia caught up? No. Liquipedia does not have our win entered yet. Which we'll never forgive them for. But we're playing either Dragons Esports or Potential. And assuming Dragons Esports uh, didn't choke, they're supposed to be the team that won, which is Abdulaziz, Mysterious, and Abud. I think we can win that. Dragons won. Link not working? Yeah, I wonder if it's actually overloaded or something, because it's not working for me either. I can actually see... I can see the, the, the first vote. It looks like... Nupo in the bottom right. Uh, Killiers. This is the striker award. Daniel. And um, I forget who the other nomination was there. Oh, Lost. So I can see it. It's like trying to let me through. Maybe I have to accept the cookies. Nope, I accepted the cookies and I'm still not able to get through. I'm sure they'll figure it out. Worst Rule 1 watch party I ever watched on Squishy stream. He has not even an overlay. I, listen, <laughs> it's fine, okay? I know you might be trying to say that to like hype me up because I once did the Rule 1 watch party, but... Um, I think an overlay is less important than you might think. As long as you know what's going on, it's all good. All right. Any other matches happening? Oh, someone has the start GG page open. Maybe we can stream snipe them to see when our match is going to start. Nope. Now they're watching Squishy. <laughs> now we're just, uh, oh, now they're watching me. <laughs> okay, now you know we got we got to we're getting a little bit too deep. It probably also the best rule and watch party on Squishy stream. Here there is no way no one is streaming dark. I think there is a way and I think no one is. I message them and I'm guessing they'll have a streamer for the future days because they did say that they had coverage. And I said, "Okay, Sounds good. I know you guys want to watch Dark. Wanted to make sure there'd be a way to see them. And it sounds like there will be. So. Invite Dark and RL. I can't just join the lobby. I can't just join the lobby. You have to like fill out a form and it's got to be official. So I can't just invite Dark and join his lobby. Chat, we got Nush, Dr. Noon, and Ops. More than you could ever hope for. 
All right, did we go for the six star run chat? I think we just go for the six star run. Looks like we're not starting yet. Although we did just get another player, another teammate in the party, which is a good sign. All right. The forbidden six star run. We've never been able to get it. That changes today. That changes today. This looks like a low rated player before I even click the play button because of the car they're in. We are in platinum. Are we diamond for hitting that? I think we're platinum. Look at the way we're we're moving. It is is pretty darn slow here. That guy just flips away from the ball. We're playing ones though. So is it their ones rank? What do we think, chat? Diamond, diamond champ. Okay, chat's going pretty high, so I might I might get biased up to diamond here. But if it's their ones rank, then that then we should lower it. This seems like a peak, and it seems very platy. Plat if ones? I don't know how rank the works. I don't know how if they check the replay score of like the actual um replay. He canceled though. Okay, let's go diamond. Let's go diamond. I think we're feeling good about diamond chat, right? Okay. Good guess, chat. Good guess. And everyone else is going champion too. So I don't know what they were thinking. All right. The dream is alive. The perfect run is still alive. All right. We're in twos. We're a higher rated player this time. You could tell. Look at the Fennec. Look at the speed. Look at the full field dribble from the back wall. It's good, but it's not insane. I'm thinking champ, grand champ. All right. Let's look at everything else though. It's everything, everything else that goes on in the play. Power shot. Decent reaction with the save. Full field dribble, little resets. It's looking Grand Champion. I don't think it's SSL chat. It's Diaz? Wait, is it actually Diaz? Wait, if it is, it's SSL for sure. But no, no, you're just saying he did a Diaz dribble. No, this isn't Diaz. Diaz would do like 90 different resets across the way. I think we just go GC. I think we're not quite SSL. The movement of the car isn't like perfect. Um, And I have played some low GC games and there's the free play warriors that can definitely hit this. <clears throat> I think we're GC. It could be champ though. There are champ warriors. There are champ free play warriors who can hit this too. SSL, no doubt. No, it's gotta be, it's gotta be Grand Champ. That guy pre-jumped him. I think it's Grand Champ. I think it's Grand Champ. Nice. Chat! It's it's alive. And we need to pick the final rank before the drop okay we're low rated we have two pixels now we're higher rated now we're moving quick we kept our momentum got the demo we're playing on a switch because why is quick chat oh we fake we're playing in ones again we fake again got him we're go oh my goodness we're playing on a switch the ball went so deep in i think i, I think like gold plat Or silver? No, 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 not silver. He's, he touches the ball too much. He like flips into it, corner corner flip directly into the ball, warps around, chases a demo. I think we're plat. You think diamond? I, I'm thinking plat, chat. I'm thinking plat. Perfect game. I always knew we could do it. I always knew we could do it. Man, it felt so easy. <laughs> it felt so easy the one time we got it. And I don't know why it was so hard before. Okay, we're not playing against Mood Swing. We're playing against Dragons, right? Rock plays right now. Perfect timing. Go, says Dr. Known. Hopefully they weren't waiting for me. Oh, they're on the blue. They're on the blue. 
The RCS continues with Team Rock trying to qualify through the Dragons. I think it's Dragon something, but I have them as Dragons. It fits nicely in the overlay. Is there anybody in chat who knows if the Dragons are a full Saudi Arabian team? Because if so, I'll add their flag as well. Team Rock are technically not favored to win this, but you wouldn't think so by just watching the 17 seconds so far as they will be the first ones to score. Mysterious and another player from the Dragons getting double dunked down to Nush for the goal. Credit to Dr. Known. You forgot Rock's logo? I don't have it in my overlay. Not the favorites according to who? According to the RLCS seeding system, uh, the Dragons are the favorites. So Team Rocket are not the favorites. And maybe it's because Abood hits shots like these off the ceiling and in. Ops launched it a little bit over the top of Dr. Known and actually might have even been a pinch that forced it into the net. Can we also get a prediction? Mods are slacking. No, I don't think we knew who we were playing until a little bit more recently, but we'll give you guys a minute. A minute, you'll get to see how this game one went. You'll see Nush scoring. Nush. Did he try and get the dunk here? No, he did, but he didn't have to. Faked him. Thought blue team was for the higher seed. You thought that you that this was being played in a you know regular fashion in a RLCS type fashion. But for some reason, these qualifiers are played on Start GG. And for actually, that's not that's not too crazy. That's understandable. But for some reason, Start GG has picked Orange Team as the higher seed. So Team Rock in the previous round was Orange Team. That's because they were the higher seed. And now, Dragons are the higher seed, so they're on the orange team. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Somebody uh, who works for Start GG really likes orange and thought, you know what? The best team should get orange. Ops, ceiling pinch pass to Nush. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think they realize that every other part of the Rocket League world has blue team as the top seed. Look at these pinches, man. <laughs> Vina is just so fun to watch. <laughs> I mean, that's why we have to tune in. This time, it's a Dr. Known sending it to the back wall and then getting redirected by the other team, but the ball is just flying around. His name is actually pronounced... Uh, that doesn't that doesn't help. That doesn't help my tiny English-speaking brain. Sorry. Adding an extra B um, doesn't change how my silly English brain pronounces it. Except for maybe going Bubba, which I can't imagine is correct, so. Uh, they're not fully team-based or seed-based. I think in the RLCS in some cases where it's like Team Orangey Orange and they're also the one seed, it's like, okay, maybe we shouldn't put Team Orangey Orange on the blue team. So they'll... They'll make exceptions, I think. Mysterious. Banging one home. Talk to known. Couldn't quit this clear out. Nush had to make a goal line save. You're sorry, but Rock is going to lose this one. We'll see. We'll see. Carmi Corp was the bluest team in the major and would always get blue. Yeah, I mean, their whole thing is like, what's the color? Blue, the blue wall. So, I mean, KC is just, was the number one seed anyways. So you could argue that's also why, but yeah, I think they'll give them blue against just about anybody. Dr. Known didn't have the boost to finish it. Abu is pronounced like how Canadians say about, but they say Abu. So that's exactly what I said, but then somebody said I said it wrong, which doesn't surprise me, by the way. I'm sure that my first take is often wrong. Oh, Dr. Known, wait a second. That was an insane pinch. I mean, there's no way Ops can 
predict it working that well. Such a fast game. When you look at the stat comparisons for the whole season and you're looking at like speed, Sam and Mina have like all the players at the top. The whole region just plays it faster. Ops, is that on target? Oh, actually, got a defender to miss. Why didn't they do a roster change? Who? Team Rock? What? Why does Team Rock need a roster change? They had a great improvement from the beginning to the end of the split, and they're on a trajectory that would argue they're, you know, doing exactly what they need to. They have a good chance here. Ops drops it down. Blue Z's though likely to clear it away. When will we see Rock versus Rule One? I don't know. We, it's happened once before. Nush. Wants the sidewall double. Yeah, has to just play it away. Unfortunately, put it out of scoring position, but Dr. Known, ooh. One clean touch away. Lush in the midfield has mysterious pre-jumping. Does he leave it for Ops? Easy clear, easy clear for the Dragons. Dush, full field psycho to win it. Oh, that's hitting ground. Game number one going to the Dragons. Doesn't Sunless own real one? Yeah, he owns half, I think. Warm up game. Oh, chat went heavy on rock. <laughs> chat went heavy on rock. Yeah, you're about to make some serious money. I mean, they are the underdogs. Team Rock are the underdogs. So 92 to 8 on the underdog team is definitely something. Rock 6 Odom? Oh, wow. Game number two, a close game in game one. And barring one back pass, team pinch from Dr. Known to the Dragons. They may have been going to overtime. So I think they're gonna feel good about their position. They were also attacking entirely late. You could argue the Dragons may be pulling back as Nush trying to pop off here. Actually he had no boost left over. He used his front flip to finish it. But defenders were there. Now bumped off the ball. Dr. Known to the backboard. That's an angle that was available, but this team has just been closing the gaps. The Dragons not letting anything go in for free. Nush, dude! <laughs> he landed so awkward, but you wouldn't believe it. Based on how quickly he was back off the wall, Dr. Known wants a double. Actually leaves it for Nush! And Rock around the board. Guys, am I crazy or is this just... Like, especially if you compare this team to teams you watch in even EU or NA at the same level. It just isn't as fun, man. <laughs> These guys are like... They're like globetrotters out there in the process of winning. Nush denied his challenge by the wall pinch. Now Dr. Known. No way to get this down. Dragons have done a good job protecting the backboard. Ops, huge 50 win. He could even have been in trouble. And yet he turned it into a possession for his team. Dr. Known, he has been getting so many back wall setups directly in front of the net. But those are so hard to read as your teammate. Dr. Known actually not even going to dive here. I think that's probably a smart decision. His team up one. Him last back. Probably not worth it. <laughs> Look, a rare Amina player in a state less than supersonic. <laughs> and here, we find Amina player not in their natural habitat. They have pressed the brakes. 
and slowed down. <laughs> Nush just launched offs out of the net after he made that save. Bit of a double commit on the save. Known with space. How helpful it would be to be able to see your opponents. Nice ceiling pinch. Should be handled though. It's so nice from our spectator position. Seeing Dr. Known getting ready to start his air dribble and being able to see who on the other side has the boost to pre jump him and stop him. And especially if you notice that they no one does. You know, that's great information to have. And again, maybe it was just a skill issue, but. The boost overlays, I was not quick enough at snapping my eyes down to the player, up to the boost, down back to the player before it was too late and it didn't matter anymore. How are they all so good at wall dashing? I'm mad. What a first time chat. Beer, I need to lock in. You're right. They need they need me. Completely locked in. Nice challenge, Dr. Known. Ooh, they could be in trouble right now. Luckily no one from Dragons around. Camera didn't let me know if there was anyone back yet. What a setup, what a save, Dr. Known. Huge save, too strong of a pass from Abud. I don't think you can watch Falcons. I don't think anyone's alive with them. If Rock loses Caster Curse, how? I, what have I done? All I said is they don't need me. <laughs> there we go. Nice dunk, good setup from Mr. Dr. Known. Abu just thought he had it easy, and Abdul kind of got bumped, it seemed like, to set up going in too deep. Is this an actual game? This is RLCS. This is RLCS right now. Team Rock versus the Dragons. You know, if, if Team Rock end up winning... No one's gonna apologize and say, wait, never mind. It wasn't a caster curse, you know? Everybody only ever calls it out when it's my fault. And certainly, I didn't curse it again. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> I cannot believe that ball just floated directly in front of the net for the easiest zero second goal of all time when I was trying to make an argument. <laughs> about not cursing them. But to be fair, my exact point ended up being made, which is that I did not curse them. <laughs> and I tell you what, it was about as close to cursing as possible. So credit where credit is due. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was, I, that was scary. That was a movie the way they showed us on the goal line without being able to see if anyone was coming and with the ball just sitting there unprotected. Oh, they're waiting for me in chat. So cringe. So cringe. I thought I readied up. Game number three. I missed the old fear straight from the go fear. Chop up the soul Kanye. So you forgot to find and replace that one, right? <laughs> You didn't have to find and replace that many. And yet you still included Kanye in one of them. So if Dragons beat every team they face, they go to the Major? Yes. Yeah, I think, I think that's true for just about any team in any region. 
if if any team beats every team they face, they will be at the major. Team Espada got three wins. Start cooking. So, are they through? Are they into the top 16 or no? Are you saying they got three wins in their previous round? Ooh, try to pre-jump. But all of Rock were there. You think they're in? Nice. Shout out to Soka, Arms, and Dark. I feel like it's been a while since Ams has played. He's just been sitting on the real one sub spot for what feels like multiple seasons. Dark lost? Wait, chat. <laughs> you guys are just you guys are just saying whatever you want. Will I stream early for Rock tomorrow? Are they playing in Saudi E League or something? Because there's no RLCS tomorrow, right? I don't even know how streaming for those other events work. Yeah, Bravado is really good. If if Espada got put against Bravado, I and mean, that's that would be a massive upset to get that win. Ignore me? Okay. From now on, I will not read any of your chats. Uh-oh. Nush not able to protect that like he wanted to. And now his squad is in trouble, but Dr. Known. Universe on the line. Needs somebody in net to stop the goal. Give me Dr. Known. Shot. Ooh, love the kickoff plays. Again, that one looked like they were just trying to win it with the two players upfield. Doctor Known chaining them dashes. It's going to become commonplace for every single RLCS player before long. If you're on the wall and you drive over the curve, you just dash through it. Because it's easier to dash it, and you lose a bunch of momentum there. So you should dash it. Do you think the new Rule 1 roster will be do better at London? Um, I think that you're even one step ahead of yourself. <laughs> I think that Twisted Minds look like a good team. And I would not immediately say Real One or for sure that second team again until I see some evidence. Nice shot from Nush. Good placement here. Keeping it away from them. If they do make it, I actually don't see them. I mean, I have to wait and see. Maybe they're cooking up something with Venom. But... Like I said before, I think if you were trying to consolidate talent, the names I would look at to combine with Nupo are SMW and Boston. But a lot goes into a team. What a save from Ops! Oh my goodness. How can you not love this content? Uh, is Ops there this time? He is! Oh my goodness, such a good save! The crossbar pinch to send it completely out of dangerous way as well. Okay, Odami, I'm gonna give you a challenge. Here's your challenge, okay? You can send 10 consecutive messages in the chat, none of which include the word dark. You can stay. But if you fail the challenge, then we will have to time you out.
What a save! Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Push. At zero seconds. The dream is still alive. Wait a second. Oh, no, it's not. OT. Wait, chat. You guys. <laughs> Odami took the challenge. <laughs> and just know that if you say Hisoka, you want to watch Hisoka's team. I can see right through that. We got OT in game number three. And I tell you what, I, I want to see the saves, but I don't want to miss the crucial moments, which this is definitely one of them. Okay, Nush. What are the saves at? Oh, it's actually... I thought for sure that Rock had way more, but... Wait, I think they did. I think I was looking at shots. I, I didn't want to hold it up too long, but I will now. Yeah, six saves to one. Yeah, yeah, That makes sense. The shots are just, like, insanely in the Dragon's favor. They're just pummeling the net. Got that passive Abood. Wait, Abood's out of the Octane. Out of the Octane and into the Fennec. Oh, that's in! That's just a bucket! That's just game! Let's go! Ops with the dunk. And the third cheated up way too much. Had too much faith. And it's just directly in. 69 kilometers per hour. That's a nice shot if you ever ask me. Why are you dodging pronouncing Abdulaziz? Am I? I thought I've called him Ad Abdul a couple times without the full thing. I think Abdul Aziz, from what I could tell, is actually one of the easier ones for an English speaker, I would guess. Chat, we might need to rip a one minute or so. I think right now is hopefully mysterious, takes a while to ready up. Mysterious is clutching right now. Because I don't want to be the person to slow them down. Otherwise, I would just wait a full minute. We call them three Zaz. Wait, wait, wait. You don't, call, you don't say three. That's a replacement for an Arabic letter? Or do you say three Zaz? Three is an A, yeah, okay. That makes that makes more sense. Game number four. Odami, it also does not count if every one of your ten messages is you asking how many messages until you can talk about dark again. <laughs> that's also failing the challenge. <laughs> I hope I hope that's clear. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh man. All right, Team Rock up to one, about to save a ton of people's points in chat if they can get this win with a 92%. We very rarely have any predictions under any circumstance that go 92-8, especially not one where technically, according to the seeding, the 92 team is the underdog. <laughs> Do I get to time people out? Yeah, you can time people out. <laughs> Go for it. Are you going to the London Major? I'm not. I'm not. And it's what's a bummer is like I'm worried that I'll never go to the Copper Box, which is like a historic Rocket League arena. And uh, if the London one was timed a little bit differently, I might have been able to go. Might have been able to bring the whole family. Could have been sick, but yeah, it just didn't work out. So, oh, nice play from Nush. Three is a hard A when it comes out of your throat. I see, I see. Dog's a big fan of that one.
Yo, Biba is an actual Giga Chatter. That's that's Man of Stealing right there. <laughs> that should become a... Uh... Wait, I think that they switched off Director Cam. That should become a copy pasta for sure. Ooh! Chat, your hero! Your hero, Abu, missed on the goal line. Nice demo, wall dash demo, doesn't matter, it's still defender's back. Watch on your TV, chat on your phone. Wait, is that actually the play? Is that Biz chat? Dr. No needs a bump. Oh wait, the back pass? Oh, the own goal? It had orange trail. <laughs> it had orange trail. So this 50 ops puts it up field. Dr. No pre-jumps the bump. Abu puts it straight down and then it's not really an own goal, but it's going to have orange trail, so it gets boomed into the net. You got to see Dr. Known in some more show matches. Yeah, he is pretty sick. This whole team is very fun to watch. That's why it's such a no-brainer to cover their games. Nush, get the demo. Look at him go. Look at Team Rock go. This is the qual match. Yeah, if they win this, it's technically an upset and they qualify. A lot of people in chat said this is the end of the road here for Team Rock. And I tell you what, I hadn't heard about the Dragons, but I know they have the higher seed, so it didn't take much to convince me that they could be in for a really tough match here. But they've handled business really well, especially up 3-0 in this final game. Now, one of the games they won, they did have the ball sitting on the goal line available to be shot in <laughs> to send it to overtime, but it did not get shot in. Could you cover zone matches if it doesn't overlap with Team Rock? Is this Odami's alt? Uh, but also zone is, is... I mean, it's possible that you're a big zone fan. But that is the team of... Dark. Oh, what a read by Nush. Oh, that was insane. They're going to get the goal. Look at this read by Nush. He just jumps up and floats where he knows the clear is going to go and tries to dunk it straight in. And even though he didn't get it, eventually the follow-up gets him the goal. Did they change from best of three to best of five? They changed some of the games from best of three to best of five. But those are what once happened long before these. These have always been best of five, but they were best of five before and they still are now. I think they're in chat. I think Team Rock has done it. I think we're seeing him in another top 16 which makes them 50%, I believe, but ever improving on a streak of two top 16s in a row. And certainly, I'm not cursing it. Certainly, they don't get four goals scored on them in the next 40 seconds. Squishy finally started the games. Yo. <laughs> Chat, as we all know, the streamers do control when the games start. And that's why I always give you guys the games perfectly on time. Directed Actal, 25 stream streak. Hey, Patrick, you know what's funnier than 24? 25, so true. So true. Team Rock. Get on the train before it's too late. The hype train. It wasn't Squishy's fault? No, I was joking. Of course it isn't ever the streamer's fault. The streamer does not control when RLCS matches start. They will start without the streamer even. GG's! Team Rock with the dub. It's light work for a team like Team Rock. Lost the first game by one, but then a 2-1, 2-1, 4-1. GG's, homies. Nice playing. Old Fear would join the match while it was playing? No, come on. Come on. I would never do such a thing. 
These kids are so good, looking like seasoned vets. Yeah, big shout out to uh, Idris as well, who I'm sure has at least partial credit for making the team look so good. All right. You guys are saying that Squishy's finally in the games. First look at the new roster. What's their score? Oh, it's, it hasn't even started yet. It hasn't even started. Give your points back for real? Dude, you're not, you're not getting your points back, man. The Rock Believers, I'm happy to give them their points they deserve. Give it all to Team Rock. All right, so chat, in case you guys know what's going on, here is the bracket. It probably hasn't even been updated, but we are right here, Team Rock. We beat Mood Swing and we beat Dragons. And so we're in. We're into the top 16. The next matches will be Thursday. Thursday of next week. Um, and I think because they don't have a mainstream, I could maybe even do more than just the Swiss for Team Rock if they made it out of the Swiss. Uh, but it has to, whoa, it has to not align with uh, NA. Zaxer Gaming. Zaxer Gaming wants a VIP coin flip chat. If you guys have never done coin flips, here's how they work. You pay 125,000 points. Sorry, Squishy. I can hear you in the background. And you're risking it all. You're risking your life as a chatter and all of your points to potentially get a half price VIP. So Zaxer Gaming, what's it gonna be? Heads, tails? What is VIP? It's a pink diamond next to your chain and name and chat. It's what everyone in the world wants. Zaxer is going to go with heads. Do we have a new VIP in the chat? Or is it time to say goodbye to Zaxer Gaming? I was off. I went, I went early, but congratulations to Zaxer Gaming. Show it off. Show it off. Show the world your pink diamond. You deserve it. You deserve it. We actually haven't had somebody win in a while. That was the first win we've had in a while. I feel like we've been sending everybody away. Look at the other VIPs coming out to welcome you to the clan. Elias Roses, Hurricane, Shoe Doctor. Did you guys all win coin flips as well? Or did any of you guys just buy them outright? <coughs> Pet the VIPs. Okay, chat, here's the deal. I don't think we're going to watch Party Squishy. Um, you might even be able to tell that I'm slightly under the weather as well. So I think it might make sense to call it there today. We can send you guys over to Squishy to watch Rule 1. And uh, they're actually tied right now. They're actually tied. Um, and you can see Nupo and Venom and Khaled. See how they play. You also won by choosing heads. Nice. Uh, and we'll be back tomorrow. I think we'll be back tomorrow with M80. And um, it'll be a great time. So I will see you guys then. I'll send you over to watch some more Mina. Um, for those of you who I know are wondering if I'm going to be able to follow Dark's matches or asking about it, you have to be very intentional with the matches you follow. Like you have to fill out a form and you have to be like, I'm covering this team. Um, so I can't just jump around and do any match. And so I can't just, I can't go to Dark's team. Dark said they already have somebody that they filled out the form and is their streamer. And so uh, that streamer wasn't live, so don't blame me. But all right, guys, see you tomorrow. See you next time. We'll watch some more Team Rock next week as well. They're looking good. Rule one up 4-2 right now. Congrats to the new VIP, VIP Zaxer Gaming, and congrats to Team Rock, who had a really good day today. Bye!